Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my experiment in propagating ZZ plant. ZZ plant is a very low maintenance plant. You can put them in any part of your room. They thrive in a very low light condition with a very minimal care requirements. This is one of my very first plant when I started this whole plant life thing. Back then, she was just this small and look at her now. Just make sure not to overwater your ZZ plant. They really don't like to sit in a wet soil. So for today, I'll share to you my experience in propagating the ZZ plant. First, we need to choose uh, the matured stem which we are gonna propagate. And by the way guys, look at this one. This is a new stem ready to unfurl anytime. And for the stem which I'm gonna propagate, I'll be using this one. So let's just cut it like this. There you go. And then I'll put one full stem in the water. Just make sure to change the water once a week. And for the rest, I'm gonna try the leaves propagation. So just cut the leaves nearest to the stem and make sure you are cutting with a little stem attached to the leaves, otherwise your propagation won't work at all. There you go, like this one. Just cut it nice and clean and then you're ready to go for the soil method propagation. It's best to wait for a few hours before putting them in the soil but I'm gonna try putting them right away. Just take one of the cuttings and uh, place it directly to the soil like this. And do the same thing for the rest. And uh, make sure to water your newly propagated ZZ plant when the soil is already dry. And then our propagation is done. So all we need to do is wait for a few weeks and uh, check if it's already have some roots in it. So after a few months, let's check the progress of our propagation. Um, let's take a look at this guys. Oh, by the way, there's a new growth coming out or I don't know. Let's check it out. And oh, this is another ZZ plant. Look at this rhizome. ZZ plant have usually a rhizomes in it. So I think this is just another new growth on the ZZ plant. But I don't know from where it came from. Or maybe this is from the other leaf which I thought was dead. Maybe it has rooted already before the leaves turned yellow and eventually died. I really don't know but it's just an amazing one. And then let's check this too. We need to be careful in removing them so as not to damage the roots. And there you and there you go, look at this tiny like potatoes. These are the rhizomes. ZZ plant has rhizomes at the base of the plant. This is where the new growth are starting and this is where they are keeping all the nutrients which uh, the plants need. That's the reason why we need to be very careful in watering our ZZ plant because over Watering or excess water from the soil might cause this rhizomes to rot and it's not good for our ZZ plant. For the water propagation, it was not successful. The stem rot and turned a little mushy and 
it's too late to save them, so only the soil propagation has succeeded. So that's all for today guys and I hope that you like our video for today and if you still haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you will be notified every time I'm having a new video. And if you have any comments and suggestions please leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, keep safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!